Today I'm going to show you how to make a hacking gadget using this Raspberry Pi Zero W. So this Raspberry Pi emits a Wi-Fi network that you can connect to using your phone or another laptop. So in this first demonstration, we're going to be using my phone. All right? I'm going to run this script. And it pulled up the website by itself. I'm way over here. And it, it did that by itself, okay? Now we're going to run this script off my laptop. The Zero W is low key a bad USB because when you plug this in, it doesn't recognize it as a USB. It recognizes it as a keyboard. So no matter what, you can basically run any script you want. The things you're going to need for this are a micro SD card. I'm using a 32 gig one. You're also going to need a mini USB to USB cord. I'm using my PS4 charger controller. So if you have that laying around, you can use that. And you're also going to need a Raspberry Pi Zero W. Just use the first one. You really don't need the second one. This is actually a really cool device. You can configure it to bypass Windows computers without having their password. You can use this to retrieve all the passwords saved on the computer. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff with this device. It is fun, but make sure that you don't do anything crazy with it, okay? This is for learning purposes only. So I got my Zero W Pi from Amazon. I'm gonna be honest, I got this bundle that came with a case and a cord. I thought I was gonna be set, but I wasn't. The cord that comes with it isn't a da data transferring cable. That's why I ended up using my PS4 charging controller cable thingy. But yeah, um, just a heads up, you could just buy it separately. But if you wanna buy this bundle, you can. The Raspberry Pi W, let's say this is the Pi, right? Remember, I said it emits a Wi-Fi connection. So we will be able to connect to that from our laptop, right? Or even our phone, as long as you're in range. That's the super cool thing about it. I actually think that's fire. So this is where we would get our image that we would install on the micro SD card. With this image, we will be able to run the HID scripts. There is a regular Pwn P1 version, but don't use that one. That one's outdated. So make sure you use the Aloha one right here. On the right side, you're gonna see releases, click three tags, and that's where you can download the latest version. So we're gonna download the image now. Once you've downloaded the image and plugged in your micro SD card into your computer, you wanna open Raspberry Pi Imager. We're gonna choose Raspberry Pi Zero for our device. For the operating system, right now we're actually gonna format it first. And then for the storage, we're gonna choose our micro SD card. Let's format it real quick. Once that's done, we're going to change the operating system, scroll all the way down to use custom, and we're going to use the image that we just downloaded. We're going to choose our device again. And now we're writing the image to the micro SD card. Once the image is done writing onto the micro SD, you can plug out your micro SD. Sometimes it says this, at least for me, but yeah, ignore that. Do not format the disk, okay? Once it says this here, click continue. We're gonna unplug it. All right. This is actually the Wi-Fi password that we would use. This is the URL that we would type into the browser, whether we're using our phone or another laptop. So once you've connected to the Wi-Fi, like I have, the Wi-Fi looks crazy like this, has some emojis. You can SSH in. If you want to SSH in, this is the command. The password is root backwards. So T O O R. And boom. Now you're SSH in. For this demonstration, though, we're going to be using the GUI simply because it's easier. This is what the GUI looks like. You would type in the IP address along with the port number at the end. Go to HID script. I've already put in the Rick Roll script just to save some time. We're going to hit run. You'll see it pop up on the victim's computer. 
If you want to be able to find some simple scripts, thankfully there's a bunch of scripts that have been posted in this GitHub repo. So let's go to hit scripts folder right here. And this is where I got the Rickroll scripts from. And there's all types of crazy scripts in here that you can play with. I hope y'all learned something today. And I hope you have as much fun with this device as I do. Stay safe. Peace.